This forest has two different names, the Bois d'Esprit, or as locals know it as, the Royal Wood Forest. The Bois d'Esprit is home to many different types of animals. These animals are deer, rabbits, geese, squirrels, frogs, and other types of birds and more. There are so many different types of ecosystems in the Royal Wood Forest. These ecosystems include the river bottom, the wetland, the oak forest, the aspen forest, and also the grassland. There are many fun things to do in the Bois d'Esprit, like go for walks, hang out with your friends, ride your bike, do whatever you want, and have an amazing time. This place is really, truly a one of a kind. Have you ever heard of the Bois d'Esprit or the Royal Wood Forest? We have heard of it. We walk there often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of the Royal Wood Forest. Can't say I have. What would you think if the city of Winnipeg decided to cut down the Royal Wood Forest? Uh, I would be very upset. We often go for family walks there and like to spend time there. Uh, I would be very mad at the city because I would have nowhere to ride my bike. It would appear to be a waste of a resource. If the forest was cut down, what do you think would be there? Uh, maybe houses, um, apartments or something like that. There would just be grass and leaves and gravel, basically. Um, I would guess more houses and buildings. Likely it's not, given our present municipal government, they'd probably put in condos or houses. If the Canadian government decided to cut down the Bois d'Esprit, we would be losing a lot of stuff in the, in the Bois d'Esprit, known as the carvings, the wildlife, and we'd be losing places to explore. Now it's time that we talk about the main reason that we made this documentary. So, um, people have been building stuff close to the Bois d'Esprit. There's pollution and a lot of stuff happening from cars and a lot of uh, other things. Construction, everything. And we hope that the Bois d'Esprit will stay there forever. And we hope that the city of Winnipeg or even the Canadian government decides not to cut this down. change your mind if it turned into something that you wanted? Um, I don't really know. Um, I guess maybe. Probably, yes. <laughs> no, I don't think I would. And Gavin says the forest is very important for the animals. They need their home. <laughs> Do you think the Bois d'Esprit will ever be cut down? Yes, I think it will be cut down in, well, I don't know, maybe because if they want to like put like apartments there or something or condos, there's a lot of land there so they could cut down some of it. Probably unlikely unless there's a real change in the neighborhood or in the makeup of the, uh, the mix between uh, houses and uh, uh, green areas. Um, I really hope not. I think it's protected, so I hope it yeah. continues to be. The Bois d'Esprit does not look like it will ever be cut down, thanks to Save Our Sane, who will try to protect the Bois d'Esprit for years to come. Here are a few more pictures of the Bois d'Esprit. Now we thank you guys all so much for watching this documentary, and as always, have a good day.